What is up guys, and welcome to Doom, finally! The reboot we've all been looking forward to. Uh, little disclaimer, I am using OBS to record. I previously used Shadowplay, uh, because it's just really easy to record with. Um, however, for some reason, Doom does not support Shadowplay. So I couldn't record, so I had to learn how to use OBS. Uh, I've been testing around with the sounds, and hopefully everything works out fine. Uh, with Dark Souls, I've been using a controller to play, of course, but the problem with Doom is that um, I'm using a mouse and keyboard, which is great. I love using mouse and keyboard for FPS uh, or first-person shooters. However, I do not have a boom arm, so while fiddling around and playing, especially um, in high action sections, the keyboard sounds were being picked up by the mic, so I had to reposition the mic to in front of the keyboard, uh, and and just, I guess, the, the keyboard more away from me. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but I'm trying it for you guys, and that's the only way I can get the microphone to not pick up the key sounds as much. So hopefully, you won't hear them, and uh, you'll enjoy the gameplay. Uh, also, for you PC enthusiasts out there who are curious, I am using a 780 Ti, uh, a GTX 780 Ti, uh, a Core i7 3770K, overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz on the turbo, um, and I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, which are you know just three components that really uh, matter when running a game. The game already set it to about medium high. Or, or some some settings are at medium as you can see the one that's the most important to me is this one the textures basically if the textures if you can run the textures on ultra the game will look beautiful uh, particle effects uh, lighting quality may be next on the importance rung but everything else is pretty much gravy so uh, I, I've played the game a little bit it looks great even if not everything is on ultra but uh, it runs super smooth and it looks super great. I have turned off anti-aliasing only because it blurs the screen. Uh, and I really, really do not like that. So I'd rather see more detail in the textures, more detail in the world, than slightly blurring everything and not seeing jaggies. I don't mind jaggies at all as, as long as I'm moving. Because really you don't have the time to see Jaggies when you're moving unless you're standing still. So with that being said, let us start Doom. And I'll start on the, you know, normal hurt me plenty. I'm not that great of a FPS player, at least I don't think. So you walk eternally through the Shadow Realms, standing against evil where, ugh, where all others falter. May your first, for, oh, thirst. Uh, that white light threw me off. May your thirst for retribution never quench. May the blood on your sword never dry. And may we never need you again. Korax entry 717. Hmm. Interesting. You With probably heard that. Rage. Brutal. Without mercy. But you. You will be worse. Rip and tear. Until it is done. Nice. Really like the. I, I mean, just just look at the reflections, the candle reflections off the gun. It is superb and amazing. And the particle effects are really, really great. I mean, this is the smoothest 60 FPS I've ever, 
ever played. Like a very low latency, no input lag, of course. But there's some games that I've played at 60 FPS, and this one, for some reason, I'm I'm learning that there are different qualities of high frame rates and low latency. So you can have a high frame rate and still have not as smooth as you know something with low latency. Um, something to note. Very interesting. I thought at first I was in a medical, uh, I guess, bed, but it turns out we came out of this sarcophagus, which means either we're from hell, or we were placed there as some kind of protector. Not of hell, but rather in case, you know, things go bad, oh, we're gonna need this guy. So I found that really, really interesting, and it's a really nice twist to the story. Also, the fact that they're not just giving it away, they're kind of Dark Soulsing it with uh, environmental cues. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. We uh, have to contain this. So I guess she wanted to contain me, for whatever reason. And I found it interesting that even the Doom Armor was encased in a, some kind of sarcophagus. And I don't know, but given from the, the hologram and how the scientists were worshipping or, you know, doing some kind of ritual around me, um, I'm guessing that the scientists did the candle things that this isn't from hell, this is just their work. And they probably drew the signs at the bottom there. The visor looks really nice. Sorry if I'm really quiet, I'm just taking all of this in. So it seems that we can't get any data due to something being offline. Oh. So the satellite's offline. Oh, it's Welcome. missile. I'm um, Dr. Samuel Hayden, I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. <laughs> I think Doom Guy's like, yeah, I've heard this before. You're evil too. Shut up. I'm gonna get you. But the environment, I mean, everything is just so, the graphics are so amazing. I absolutely love it. And to be honest, oh, that's right. To be honest, this is what I think Doom 3 should have been. Because Doom was never, although you know it was about demons and monsters, it, it, it was never about horror per se. It was about creep factor, uh, it was about you know, creepy environments, but never about trying to scare the player necessarily. And it was it was about action. And that's where Doom 3 lost it. And that's why, personally, I, although I played it and I beat it, it just, I didn't like it. What I find in interesting is that the AI, or the computer says, demonic presence. So meaning, it's, it's an AI and knows what's going on, or demonic, the, the phrase demonic presence has been programmed into it. Because it's not saying, oh, biological whatever. It's saying demonic presence, which, you know, it's not something you hear computers say all the time. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. 
Oh crap. I love the just high action of everything. It's fast paced, it's brutal, it's satisfying. This is the type of game you come home to when you've had a rough day and you just want to tear things apart. Oh, are you running? Oh, come on. Don't run, boy. Got things to show you. Oh, crap. Yeah. Nope. Get back here. Where'd he come from? There he is. Oh, there's more. Wait, does this thing have like a large 20 bullet clip? A 20 shell clip. Yeah, I guess it does. I haven't reloaded. Uh, the game so far really, really rewards you for exploration which I really really like you know it, it, it rewards you for you know just going through every nook and cranny basically just like old doom was cannot be allowed to leave this place you will ruin everything I'm sure you're referring to me lady I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours but you must Understand, our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Yeah, betterment. It has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk, I assure you. <laughs> I feel like Doom Guy's attitude is like, when will these guys ever learn? Really like the music too. And I like the little detail when he said "betterment for mankind." He looked down at this guy. He's like, "Yeah, I'm sure that's what you were looking for." Yeah, dossier auto map. Yes. Uh, this is really good, actually. If if you find an auto map to download throughout the level, it will show you. Uh, where you can find some hidden items which is really really great so as you can see you can find little doom guys uh, little doom guy dolls or action figures and collect them and you can also find um, these I, I, I forgot what they're called but they're like armor chips and you can upgrade your armor or your weapons which I think is actually a really cool feature and gives the player an incentive to continue it to explore but uh, Mars looks amazing. And it's something that, you know, we never really delve into too much in the previous Dooms. Just a little bit in, in, in Doom 3, but not to this scale. Yeah, this is really cool too, and, and it feels very Dark Souls-esque in terms of uh, when it's telling... And I know other games do this, but I get this feeling in the same way that I do with Dark Souls uh, in this game. Which, I want to collect everything so I know what the heck is going on, and supplement the you know cutscenes and whatnot. Oh, no. Out of my way. Oh wow. Must have not aimed well. Come on. They really must be scared of you if they run away. Oh. Nope. Oh. 
Mm -mm. Oh. One thing that I really don't like is that you do get low on ammo pretty quickly. But I'm sure that will be remedied once uh, you level up your weapons later on in the game. But it forces you to look for more ammo, more armor, more health throughout the level. I actually like that you do not have re, um, refilling health. It, it's more challenging that way and makes more tension. All right, I'm full of everything. Um, where to, Mac? Where to? Over here. Okay, so let's see. No. See, so here, you know, you get blocked off. You need blue, blue key card. And in, in here, it kind of shows you a little preview of where to get it. But see, now, now that you're in close proximity to the little Doom guy, you can see him right here. Oops. And he's actually right up here. So, let's go around uh, to get... So, you basically, you, you start figuring out, oh, you know, where can I jump? This seems like somewhere I can jump. You know, you press space bar many times, and he doesn't jump, so it has to be somewhere down here. But, you know, you see boxes like this, and then, oh, can I make the jump? Yes, I can. They look so cute, and I freaking love them. If they start selling these, I'd buy one. For sure. Hands down. So now we get the frag grenade. And you press middle mouse. With so much action going on, I oftentimes forget to use grenades. Ooh. No, thank you, sir. You always want to get a look at your surroundings, just to see if you're missing anything. Like here, you know? I The first time I went through here, I easily missed this. I've just gone through the this first level and then I guess the a little bit of the second one, but not too much of it. Because I wanted to record my playthrough. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If you find somewhere to download a map, you will be pointed out to more of the area, but on top of that, you will see things that you've discovered. I think the things in red are things that you picked up, and things that are not in red or in grayed out are things that you haven't picked up yet. Um, not all, of course. Th there are, I think there's like a few more things around here and then one more doom guy doll uh, and obviously this is where you want to go pretty you know detailed map in a sense of uh, not scale but verticality because you know you jump down here go up here you know go up here which is I think is, is really useful and pretty cool and down here is the armor chip that I was talking about Praetor suit token, that's what it's called. Okay, so you can use those to level up uh, your suit. So here's your cost. Here's, of course, what it does. Um, I selected area scanning technology just because you can find more of these tokens if you have item more item awareness. And, oh, here we go. So if we find more of this, the compass will pulse when it's near secret areas. Perfect. You definitely want that.
you always want to be on the lookout for any items or secrets that you might miss. No, oh. On ammo again. Yay, more ammo. Crap! Yeah. Uh yeah, I could have done a shortcut here if I would have gone straight in. Just jump jump over. These little guys give you weapon upgrades. So you can choose. But you know, between charge shot, uh you press the right right click mouse button and charge up you know, the charge burst, which spends I guess three shells, or explosive shot. Same thing, it's just use explosive shells. I prefer this. Thank you. <laughs> Love the little guy. Alright. Oops. Totally missed. Wow. Oh. Oh crap. Uh, yeah. You gotta be careful. Do not want to die. It. No, one more. There we go. Uh, I want to go up there. Yep, here we go. Well, at least I got my health back. Anything special? Oh, no, no. I thought there would be. Ah, oh, crap. Armor. Oh, you guys are fast. Everything is so fast-paced, it's just easy to miss something. So that's why I'm always looking around. And low ammo again. It's so annoying. But... You often find ammo pretty quickly, <laughs> so it's not a huge deal. Crap, that one. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Health, health, please. Help me, Tom Cruise. So satisfying. Perfect. Oh, that's right. I have to go up there.
Come on, guy, where are you? I like that they can also climb stuff, just like you. Make things more dynamic. Ugh. Dynamic? Dynamic. These boxes always throw me off because I think I can open them or get stuff from them. I mean, well, maybe I can. Yeah, because there's a frag grenade on them. I guess you just automatically get it. It doesn't open or has any animations. Welcome to the UAC. Now 221 accident-free days. Yay. And I like this too, you know. You end the level. But I guess that was in Doom 3 too, if I remember correctly. So there you go, guys. That is the first level of Doom. And I will see you right in the next one.